Hey Team Beal, I'm Airman First Class Tommy Wilburn. Welcome back to another edition of Commander's Corner, where we ask your Wing Commander, Colonel Larry Broadwell, the questions you want answered. Today, we're at the Ninth Security Forces Squadron to get some questions from Beal Defenders. Colonel Broadwell, why is it so important that we come to the Airmen for questions? Well, what's most important to me is knowing what's on their minds. Uh, and rather than relying on a filtered message getting to me, uh, it's far more valuable to, to go to the airmen and, and hear what, what's on their mind and what they're thinking about. And not just them, but their families as well. There is no better source than to go to them and find out uh, what's on their mind, what's either good that's happening at Beale, or, or what are the things at Beale Air Force Base that we need to improve upon. Before we get to the airmen's questions, what are some of the highlights of the latter half of 2016? Well, I'll tell you that the, the absolute highlight uh, so far has been meeting airmen like those in this room. Uh, and the chaplain said it best yesterday uh, when he said, there's nothing our United States Air Force can't do, and you can translate that, there's nothing the Ninth Reconnaissance Wing can't do because of the airmen that we have in our organization. What are some of your thoughts on improving Beal this year in 2017? Uh, so the Beal Improvement Program, or the Big Idea Program, uh, is really, it's a team effort. It is not, uh, it is not just mine to accomplish. You know, as, as your wing commander, there are things that only I can do, um, and there are things that I cannot do, that only you can do uh, in your work centers. And so it's, it's a team effort, so let's start there. And with any team effort, uh, communication is vital. Uh, I need to know the things that are uh, important to you, things that I can fix, and things that are important to you that, that you can fix, and I can help you uh, fix them. But it's, it's, it's about that communication, it's about team effort, it's about instilling a culture, you know. Uh, we uh, rely on establishing that culture where every new face that shows up, they have a critical eye, they look around the organization, they look around your base and go, you know what, I remember this from Lake and Heath, or I remember this from Cannon, or I remember this from Hurlburt, or wherever you were before, and you go, we did it this way, this can make us better. Or you know what, I don't like that, let's, let's change this, this will make us better. Frankly, some of it is about money, but a lot of it's just about an attitude. It's about an attitude of what you're willing to accept and what you're willing to not accept. And I choose excellence. Awesome, I think the Big Idea uh, program is a wonderful outlet for uh, improving uh, Beal's quality of life. So uh, let's go ahead and get, in, get into some of the questions from our Beal defenders here. Uh, I'm Staff Sergeant Doc Daniel Doctor. Ninth Security Forces Squadron, and I wanted to see, uh, with the new year, if you had any New Year's resolutions for the base and how you planned on seeing those into reality. New Year's resolutions for the base, Daniel, that is a fantastic question. We have established priorities to execute the mission, uh, develop and care for airmen and our families, and prepare for the future. There's a lot of items nested in those priorities uh, that, that'll help us execute the mission, that'll help us prepare for the future, um, but I can't do it all. And, and frankly, I, I shouldn't be expected to. That's what we all do. You have a fantastic squadron commander that's going to help me. You have a fantastic group commander that's going to help me. Um, but what I need to d decide, and I'll challenge you to do the same, figure out which boulder you're going to try to push out of the bowl. Hey sir, I'm uh, Tech Sergeant Kessler uh, with the Ninth Security Forces Squadron. I got a question. Uh, I've been here for a while. Last week or a couple weeks ago we had some real bad rainy weather and the call was made to kind of release us early and have a minimum manning day the following day. It's the first time I've seen that done. I was just wondering what led up to that decision and maybe if there's any projects or something that way ahead that we can kind of prevent that from happening, some projects to increase the road so they don't flood over, things of that nature. Sure, so there's a few things at work uh, that went into that decision. Uh, first off, our chief, uh, General Goldfein, uh, has his number one priority is, is to reinvigorate the squadron. The best way to reinvigorate a squadron is not to give them more manning, it's to empower the squadron commander. So, I, as the wing commander, I'm the wrong person to be making those decisions about who in the squadron needs to be there to help operate the squadron. Nobody, nobody is better than, in your case, Lieutenant, Lieutenant Colonel Bill Lowry to make that decision. So I empowered them. I said, minimum manning to get your mission done. The second part of your question was um, about what are we doing at Beale to, to overcome the floods. Well, it all comes at a cost, obviously. So we're talking about money. There are several projects on your way to improve the roads, to imp improve uh, the way that the floodwaters either gather or are drain off the base. Uh, we have several dams that we are um, looking at either um, breaching or uh, revitalizing to make them so they're not a hazard. And there's lots of improvements. You've probably seen them around the bases where they're digging ditches on the sides of the roads. All that is designed to try to help get water out of, away from the, the roads uh, when the heavy uh, flooding starts. And so let me just tell you what I told uh, your base leadership is I'm willing to take um, risk with a flooded road once or twice a year to build a fitness center 
that our airmen can touch every single day of the year. All right, well that does it for this edition of Commander's Corner. If you have any questions for Colonel Broadwell, be sure to ask us on Facebook, Twitter, or you can directly email us. Be sure to tune in next time for Commander's Corner.